Hey everybody, uh, I hope your Wednesday is going well. <laughs> I got up and I thought it was Thursday, so nope. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is part two of the Pixel Week Challenge. Today what I would like you to try and do is an assemble a symmetrical uh, pixel composition. And uh, symmetry or symmetrical means one side matches the other. So it could be left matches right, top matches bottom, or a combination of both, right? That is up to you and your design. So I'm gonna show you several examples, uh, one being with Legos, one with magnet tiles, and I'm gonna show you a digital one too, where you can actually make music with pixels, and then you could copy a link and share it so we could all listen to it, which is pretty cool too, as long as you use symmetry. So please share these to either Google Classroom or Shine Bright Zamorano uh, on Facebook or Instagram. All right, so check out these examples and I can't wait to see what everybody does with symmetrical pixels. So a little background for the pixel challenge today. Uh, this is a video game that was very popular when I was a youngster called Space Invaders. And if you look at it, all of the characters in there are made out of pixels. There's no diagonals, there's only verticals and horizontal squares and rectangles. So, and if you look at them too, they all have symmetry. So this is just a, a quick example of symmetry in a video game. Here's a few more examples of uh, pixel creatures, uh, but you'll notice that some of these do not have symmetry where one side does not match the other. So your goal, remember, if it's multicolor like these, that's okay, but you're trying to make one side match the other, left to right, top to bottom. There's even an artist who goes by the name Invader that creates pixel art. Some of it's based on pop culture, like you see R2-DT right here. Sometimes he's looking at other artists for inspiration. Here, Invader took the work of Shepard Fairey and his uh, famous Obey posters and incorporated, appropriated it for his own pixelated version of Obey the Invader. Here's one that Invader did actually in San Diego in 2010. It was one of several that he did in town and if you were ever to go to Petco and, and watch the, the, the Sari Padres on your way home, if you were to look up going east, you would see this invader above your head. So for your pixelation challenge today, you want to start with some kind of square or rectangular base. It, it could be a grid on your floor, it could be on your bed, or it could be a Lego base like this. Then gather some materials. They could be Legos like this. It could be cut squares and rectangles out of, of colored paper. Uh, it could be playing cards, anything like that. And you want to start to assemble them to create a symmetrical design. So you can see here I'm starting to match left and right. So this was my um, finalized Lego creation. So you can see how the left matches the right there. I have some longer shapes and some shorter shapes, some wider shapes and some thinner shapes. And you could make it into a character or it could be just abstract like this as well. An interesting play of geometric shapes. Here's another example for you. This one my, my son put together and he limited his colors to just uh, white and gray. So you could use a lot of different colors or you could narrow your selection too. Either one's fine. If you don't have Legos, you know, like I said, you can use any other materials that is square or rectangular. So in this case, I took our collection of magnet tiles and assembled a symmetrical design on our kitchen floor. And one of the neat things about this is after you document it, you take a picture, you can rearrange it and create several different compositions too. And each of them is going to be different and unique in their own way. And that's exactly what I did here. I moved some pieces around, I added some pieces, I actually did some overlapping in there. So I created a second and then a third composition as well. So I mentioned a digital uh, alternative too. And there is a, a website, musiclab.chromeexperiments.com that has several um, art and music experiments that people can do online. One of them is this song maker um, program where basically you design in pixels 
and then you can create music with it. And so it plays it and you can change the instrumentation, the tempo, all sorts of stuff that <laughs> I know nothing about. But you can create a symmetrical design with this and then play it. And then you can copy the link and you can share it with us on uh, Google Classroom or you could share a link to me over at Shine Bright Zamorano so we could check it out. So here is the pixel creation I did in SongMaker and I just wanted you to be able to hear what this sounds like. So if I hit play. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think it looks better than it sounds, but it's totally worth experimenting with. So check that out if you can too. And there you go. Challenges, one digital, one traditional uh, materials and tools. So give one a try, give both a try. Uh, I'd love to see your work, so please make sure you share it at Shine Bright Zamorano. And I will be posting one more Pixel Challenge this week on Friday. So stay tuned and shine.